let fx equal sine x. From the definition of the derivative, we get 1. By plugging in x plus h and x to sine x, we get 2. Apply difference to product formula for sine, we get 3. By simplifying the term inside cos, we get x. The value of x is not affected by h, treating cos x as a constant and pulling outside the limit gives 4. Taking 2 in the numerator to the denominator, we get an h over 2 term. h over 2 goes to 0 as h goes to 0. We can change the limiting variable to h over 2 and 6. Using the formula 5.1 in the theorem, 5, 4, 3, and taking the limit, give cos, x is the final answer.